Hi, this is Mike, and we're continuing um, with our discussion of the Blackboard 9 build button, um, and I'm going to just go on to the next one that we've been talking about. So the last episode, I took a look at uh, create course link, and we created a course link. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a module page. A module page is um, sort of like that home page, the new home page that you see when you first log on to your Blackboard site. And you can create a module page if you ever lose your home page. Um, or if you'd like to have another module page to use. So I'll click on Create Module Page. And I'll give it a name. And I can give it a description. And I can scroll down. And now I can permit users to personalize the page if I like. They can personalize it for themselves, change colors, move things around. Um, or you can leave that um, unchecked and then they won't be able, the students won't be able to uh, change that page to their liking. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say permit users to personalize the page for this one. And that's it. I'm going to hit submit. And I've created that module page. If I click on it, Um, it'll be blank, and I can add a course module, and that's the button right here. And right now we have three modules available. You have my announcements, the report card, and the what's new. And I'm going to go ahead and choose all of those and hit submit. And there they are. And let's say that I want the what's new on the right-hand side. I can just drag and drop that, and I'm grabbing the little uh, green box here at the top, and dragging and dropping where I want it, and I'll put the report card on that page. Um, all right, and that is basically it. The report card is nice um, for the students, and we can talk about that uh, in another module. The other thing that you can do here is customize the page, and I'll click on Customize Page. Okay, and the way that you customize the page, it's mainly just themes that you can customize, so this page can look a little bit different, and I'll go ahead and choose the line for this one. And I'll hit submit. And that's it, I've changed the look of that page. Um, it's as easy as that.